I welcome team, team S10 onto the stage. Here in this auditorium, we all understand that human life is sacred and that taking a life is wrong. But what if, in certain circumstances, it was not wrong at all? Here is Team S18 to present a research highlighting the dilemma of bioethics among euthanasia among the medical fraternity. I invite Team S18 to the stage. Every morning is a battle to get ready for the day. Every afternoon is a struggle to stay awake. Every night is a fight to fall asleep. This is the sad reality of Mr. Vinkatesh, a 60-year-old male suffering from a myotrophic lateral sclerosis. Hi, Vinkatesh. How are you doing this morning? Things have to be suffering with no hope of recovery. This isn't living, it's a mere existence. And I want to end it. Hold my hand. Let me go. Does a patient have the right to choose his death? What does a doctor do? Would he euthanize a patient? Is it Staff at 
Game Hospital as her next friend. They wish that Arna be allowed to live led to dismissal of Virani's fee, but they had the option of a trial tax support if they changed their mind. She was in persistent vegetative state for 42 years until she died in 2015 of pneumonia. After a long period of ambiguity and debate, Nancy Mithilisha became a VR in India in 2018 under strict guidelines. That is when a patient is either in a persistent vegetative state or terminally ill. However, active euthanasia is strictly prohibited. In case a doctor performs active euthanasia, he will be convicted under IPC sections 302 and 304. Post verdict in the hearing of Common Cause versus Union of India, the Apex Court concluded that a person of competent mental faculty as judged by a team of three doctors is entitled to execute an advanced medical directive. When I You 
Euthanasia, a bad ground of conjectures, being a debate in itself, our research acknowledges diverse opinions, concerns over regulation, highlight the views of proponents and opponents equally. There's a long way ahead before people, law, and medicine join hands. Till then, in the clouds of despair are the drops of hope. Thank you. Congratulations to Ms. Katie. You did a wonderful job in the presentation part. You have picked up a very sensitive topic. You have handled it very well. And I really congratulate you for the work you have done. Thank you, sir. I just wanted to know, though you did mention it in your presentation as well as uh, in the abstract, but I just want to know very brief, concise bullet points. What do you intend? What are your recommendations after this time? What are your recommendations? Recommendation number one, recommendation number two, recommendation number three, and so on. I would like to know your recommendations after the results of your study. Sir, so during the study, we um, found a lot of stigma about discussing about the topic in the medical fraternity itself. I'm sorry to interrupt you. So I want to you to tell not what the findings are, but I want you to tell recommendation number one, recommendation number two, recommendation number three, like that. Yes, sir. Uh, so there should be a much more open discussion in the medical community and also an integration into the ACOM of uh, our undergraduate syllabus. And the doctors are not aware of uh, legalization of passive euthanasia, so they should be. Uh, much more awareness regarding the legal procedures regarding euthanasia and uh, other aspects regarding it. I would like to add, sir, that there is a very lengthy process in the obtainment of a living will, and that would be a burden for the patient and their family. There is like a 15 day interval uh, to uh, authorize the living will. So, if that is reduced by the court with a smooth process, that would be really part of this Yes, sir. That is not a part of your study. Yes, sir. Sir, I would like to add something. Uh, sir, uh, we want, we are thinking of uh, spreading about euthanasia. We wanted to reach out everyone and we want the patients to know that there is an option called euthanasia. Not supporting or not against, we want them to know what euthanasia is, sir. Stricter and stricter law should be implemented in order to avoid the misuse of euthanasia, sir. Even if it is, even if active euthanasia is ever implemented in the future. So, yeah, as I said, it's a very tough topic to discuss, and you have to it very sensitively. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's a very good presentation. As 
Thank you. 